Welcome to iPodRepairSquad.com. This is a fifth gen disassembly guide and we're just going to show you how to break that down. Right now you just need to make sure you have all the tools in front of you, an anti-static mat and an ESD bracelet. Go ahead and put your ESD bracelet on and make sure you're grounded out to true earth and you're going to need some soft tools, a small black spudger and a couple of uh, small screwdrivers as well as some forceps help. So make sure your iPod's on hold. The orange makes sure uh, shows you that it's on hold and then at that point you just want to go ahead and get into the iPod. Just look for a good place to enter but stay away from the hold switch and uh, just slide your soft tool in there and that should just pop loose for you. Once it pops loose it is still connected by two ribbons so you want to be careful and if you can just pan in and get that ribbon right there that's the uh, battery ribbon and there's a brown connector right there which needs to be flipped up in order for you to free that ribbon so best way to do that is just to get in there with a small tool lift it up and that'll just pop right out then you can flip that over this so go ahead and lift the hard drive up like this and flip it back this way and now what you want to do is disconnect this this little ribbon right here if you can pan in on that and there's a brown part right there you just want to flip that up just like so pull this out and now you've got the back part disconnected this is the battery if you needed to replace it you could simply do that at this point let's go ahead and rotate this take a look at the hard drive if you pan in on this you'll see a black clip right here and that black clip is holding that orange cable in there you just need to go ahead and flip that up once you've got that flipped up, grab your forceps and you can go ahead and grab this orange cable and disconnect the hard drive. Now what you want to do is go ahead and remove six screws from this thing. For the sake of time I've already removed them but you just need a small, flat, a small Phillips screwdriver and there will be one, two, three and then four, five, six on there. Once you've got those removed you're just going to want to pry this loose a little bit underneath separate the silver from the black and as you can see it separates fairly easily and uh, that just lifts that out of there like so now you just need to disconnect the LCD ribbon from the logic board and if you pan in on this right here you'll see the black cable the black latch connecting the orange cable just go ahead and flip that up and once you flip that up you can grab your forceps once again once you've done that, just go ahead and uh, get in there, pull that out, and once you've got that out, your LCD screen will just slide right out. You want to be careful about how you pull that out because there's a click wheel in there as well. And we're not going to get to the disassembly of the click wheel in this guide, but if you needed to there's a black latch right there you can just flip that up and the click wheels right here on the other side of this unit